this is Serena, and this is a yoga for beginners sequence. Um, we're going to start off on the floor, and then we'll come up and do some sun salutation variations, as well as some standing balance. The only prop you might need is some sort of blanket or towel if you're on a hard surface uh, to put underneath your knees if you need that. Um, we're going to start off on our backs, so go ahead and lie down. You can either have your legs stretched out long in Shavasana, or you can bring a bend into the knees and knock the knees together so there's no effort to hold the legs up. The reason you might want to do something like this is if you have any discomfort in your lower back or hips with the legs stretched out. So just find that comfortable space on your back, close your eyes, and start to check in with yourself. Just look inward. Feeling the state of the body and the pace of the breath and the state of the mind. And let's take three open mouth exhales. So take a deep, full breath in and open the mouth side out. Do that two more times at your own pace. Inhale and exhale, let it go. Once more, deep inhale. Exhale, side out. And stay in touch with your breath as we start to move the body. Draw your right knee into the chest. You can either keep your left leg bent with the foot on the floor or stretch your right left leg out long. Hug the leg into the chest and then start to circle through your right ankle, moving the foot around and circle it both directions. And then let the foot relax. Switch your hands to the back of the thigh if they're not already there. And we're just going to move the leg forward and back with the breath. So as you exhale, hug the knee in tight. And as you inhale, reach the leg away just until the knee comes over the hip and the arms straighten. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, reaching away. A couple more times with your own breath. start to find some organic movement. Try moving the hips side to side. They'll make little circles. You can even let go of the leg and take big circles. Just exploring the range of motion through the hip. And then draw the knee in one more time. Take one more breath there. And then release and switch to the other side. So left leg draws in. You can hold on to the shin or go right to the back of the thigh. And your right leg can be stretched out, but if that causes any discomfort in your back, bend the leg instead. Starting with the ankle, just circling the foot around. And whichever direction you started, just get, reverse that direction. And then switch your hands to the back of the thigh if you didn't start there. And moving with the breath five times. Exhale as you draw in. And inhale as you reach away. Exhale to pull in tight, feeling that stretch through the hip, that pressure on the low belly. And inhale as you reach away. And then there's space to breathe down into. Three more times with your own breath. And start to find some organic movement on this side. Moving side to side or little circles. And what feels good on this side might be a little different than what felt good on the first side. For me, this is my tight hip, so I'm going to take it a little smaller over here. And 
And then draw that knee into the chest and take one more full breath here. And then release. Bend both knees, bring the feet to the floor. I'm gonna do a little hip opening floor flow. So start with the knees bent, the feet on the floor. This is like the base of bridge. And then draw your right knee in, but rather than coming straight into the chest, bring it out toward the armpit a little bit. And slowly the foot goes up to the sky. We're going for half happy baby. Reach for the outer ridge of the foot. If that's not accessible to you, you can grab the back of the leg, the back of the knee, and hold down like that. We're drawing the knee down toward the armpit and pressing the foot up toward the sky. And just take a couple breaths in this shape. And then from here, we're going to move into figure four pose. So this right leg is going to cross the ankle above the left knee. Keep this foot flexed and engaged so you're not sloppy through the ankle. Crossing there, and then either just stay right there, press that left, right knee away, or pick up the left foot, hold on to the back of the left thigh. And as you pull the left leg in, you're still pressing the right knee away. Breathe down into where you feel the stretch. And keep the cross of the legs, but release your arms. We're going to slide this right leg across until the thighs are touching, so you're closing the gap with your figure four. And then reach up and see if you can grab your shins, your ankles, maybe just the backs of the legs, whatever is accessible to you. So this is a Supta Gomukhasana reclining cow face pose. It's a deep stretch for the outer hip. It's into the sciatic area. So drawing in as much as is comfortable. Make sure there's no tweaking in your knees. If there is, let go of the shins and just pull in from the upper leg. And then keep the cross of the legs, release the arms. And just bring the arms down to the floor, maybe up to a T or to cactus. We're gonna drop this left foot down to the floor. Legs are still crossed. Moving with the breath here a couple times, we're going to drop the legs out to the right and then come back to center. So you can move with the breath. So maybe inhale as you drop out to the side and exhale as you come back to center. So we're not going all the way to the other side, just right back to center. Inhale as you go out. Exhale as you draw back to the knee. A couple more times like that. Time you come to center, just pause there. We're gonna keep the legs crossed in this sort of eagle shape. And then now let the knees drop over to the other side. You might wanna lift up your hips and scooch them just an inch or so to the right side. That evens out the spine on the mat. And then dropping the knees over. Maybe you look over to the right side. If that's just too deep of a twist, you can uncross the legs and just stack the knees. And that's a little softer. Head back to neutral. Inhale, draw the legs back to center. Uncross, even out the spine. And then we'll take that floor sequence to the second side. Left knee draws in. Rather than coming straight into the chest, bring it out toward the armpit a little bit. Sole of the foot to the sky, reaching up for the outside of the foot or the back of the knee. Half happy baby. If you want to take this a little bit deeper, you could stretch out this leg. Oh, we didn't do that on the first side. And then taking this into figure four, crossing left ankle above right knee, keeping your left foot flexed. Either just staying there with the right foot on the floor or picking the right leg up. Interlacing your hands behind the back of the right thigh. So there's a stretch going in two directions here. We're pulling the right leg in, but pressing the left knee away. And then 
keep the cross of the legs, but release the arm. Start to slide your left leg across till the thighs are touching. And then reclining cow face on this side. Reach up for whatever's available and just pulling in. And watching out for any tweaking through the knees. Take a couple more deep breaths into this stretch. And then keep the cross of the legs, release the arms, and drop your right toes down to the mat. Let the arms come out to a T or to cactus. Cactus gets a little bit more uh, heart opener. And then we're gonna drop the legs over to the left side, moving with the breath. So just over to the left with the inhale, and back to center with the exhale. Inhaling, just pivoting on those toes, dropping the knees over to the side, exhaling to return to center. Three more times, move with the pace of your own breath. Back to center, pause there. And we're gonna scooch the hips just a tiny bit over to the left side and let both knees drop over to the right. Maybe turning your head to look to the left. back to center, draw the legs to center, uncrossing the legs, evening out the spine, and just hug both knees into the chest, give yourself a nice big hug, maybe rock around side to side if that feels nice. And then just go ahead and rock all the way over to the right side, coming to a fetal pose, and just rest your head on your arm. And use this left hand to slowly press yourself up to a comfortable seat. So, come to a comfortable seat if cross-legged is available to you. Sit like that. If not, you could sit on your knees or in any way that allows you to lengthen up tall through the spine and relax the shoulders. Take a couple of shoulder rolls, lift the shoulders up, drop them down. Lift them up to the ears, roll them back, drop them down. One more time, lift up, roll back, drop down. And then inhale the arms up to the sky. And we'll come to a side stretch. Right hand drops down, left arm reaches up and over. Notice if your shoulder hunches up toward your ear, try to slide it down, make a little space around the neck. And then inhale, lift back up through center, and over to the other side. Left hand down, right arm reaches, getting long through the side body. And then inhale, back up through center, and bring the hands down to the heart. We move into a twist now, so lengthening up tall through the spine. And start to turn toward the right knee, just revolving on the spine. When you twist it about as far as you can, bring the left hand down to the outside of the right leg, and bringing the right fingertips behind you. So we want to be propped up on those fingertips, pressing the floor away and lengthening through the crown of the head. We don't want to lean back just to reach the floor. So lengthening up tall, just turning to look over your back shoulder for a moment. And then keep your spine in this twist, but turn just your head and gaze over the front shoulder. So you turn to look toward the left. And then return your head to neutral. 
hands to heart center, and revolving back to the middle. Lengthen up tall, take a moment to lengthen here, and then turning toward the left side, dropping your right hand down to the outside of that left leg, left fingertips behind you, prop up on those fingertips to lift up out of the crown, looking over your back shoulder to start. And then keep the spine in that twist, but turn just your head and gaze gently over the right shoulder, turning to look toward the front. And then bring your head to center, hands to the heart, and coming back to the front. All right, if you are in cross-legged, Go ahead and switch the cross of the legs so that the other foot comes in front. And then from here, we're going to reach the arms up to the sky and face the palms toward the front. Soften the shoulders down. And all we're going to do is close the hands and then open it up. And as you open, really stretch through those fingers. So close to a fist and then open out. And notice what happens to your breath here. Sometimes as we do a quick movement like this, we can lose track of the breath. So make sure you're breathing smooth and steady. If you like, you can start to speed this up, really stretch and open, bursting open with the hands. Full steady breaths. Notice if you start to gather tension in the shoulders, if you're hunching up like this, try and drop it down. All right, a few more times. By a few more times, I mean a lot more than you're going to want to do, so just keep going, keep breathing. This is a great exercise to learn how to breathe and calm our nervous system when things are going on that might trigger our nervous system to think we're under stress. We're just opening and closing our hands, that's all. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Are you still going? <laughs> All right. Okay, then go ahead and release. Shake out the arms, roll up the shoulders. Good. All right, let's let the arms relax for a moment and bring the feet together, soles of the feet together, knees out wide. This is bound angle pose. Go ahead and walk your sit bones back. Press the soles of the feet together, reach energy out through the knees like you're trying to touch the walls on either side of you. Lengthen up tall. And as we fold forward here, try to keep the spine lifted and the shoulders relaxed. Tendency is to want to round and collapse and get the head down toward the feet. But instead of that, stay tall and think about the heart going forward. It doesn't matter how far you come down, just think forward and softening the shoulders. So you might come down just a little bit, you might come down quite a ways. It's up to your body. Ideally, you want to come to that point that's a challenge, but you can breathe smoothly with it. Effortless breath. And then with your next inhale, lift back up. And draw the legs together. And we're going to come around onto hands and knees. If you're on a hard surface or you have sensitive knees, you might want to bring the blanket underneath. That's padding, blanket, towel, anything kind of cushy. And knees right under hips, hands right under shoulders. You can have your toes tucked or you can bring the tops of the feet to the floor. Just explore, see which one feels better for your body. We're going to move through some cat and cow motions, waking up the spine. We're moving with the breath. As you inhale, lift the tail, lift the head, let the belly drop down toward the floor. As you exhale, tuck the chin in, tuck the tail under, pull the belly up away from the floor and round and dome the back. Inhale to lift the head and tail. Exhale to round up. Do a couple more at your own pace. Let the breath decide when this movement happens. Inhaling. And exhaling. And 
and come back to your neutral spine. Extend the right leg back behind. Bring the toes down to the mat and just lean your weight back. And you might just hold there or you might rock forward and back. We're trying to open up through the calf muscle and the ankle. If you want to take it deeper, you can lift up that left knee. And then find your way back to center and just lift that right leg straight up behind you. So extend it straight up from the hip. And find your core, just draw the belly button in and up. And then from there, reach your left arm forward. Place the palm in toward the midline, like you're reaching out for a handshake, although we're not supposed to shake hands right now. But reach out, draw the shoulder back, plugging it in. And then breathe, keep that core engaged. good here. Maybe you go back to those cat and cows. Maybe you sway side to side. Barrel roll. If you need to come off the hands, just pick up the hands. Stretch them out. Now we'll move on to that second side. So planting the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Start with the left leg extending back, toes down to the mat, and then leaning back. So just explore which version of the stretch feels best on this side. Holding, rocking forward and back. Don't need to get deeper into it if it doesn't strain the wrists. Lift up your right knee and really lean back. Just taking another moment to stretch out through that calf and ankle. you lifted that right knee, go ahead and drop it back down. And lift your left leg just straight out from the hip. Flex through the foot, press out through the heel so there's energy through the whole leg, through the whole foot. Draw your belly in and up, zipping up through that midline. And then right arm reaches forward, palm in toward the midline. We're reaching out with the limbs, but there's still a sense of drawing in toward the middle core drawing in and also the arm kind of sucking back into the shoulder. Breathing here, breathing like it's the easiest thing in the world. Another chance to convince your nervous system that it can react differently to stress than it maybe does automatically. Deep cold breaths. And then release, bring the hand down, bring the knee down, and do any other organic movement that might feel nice here. From here, we're gonna come into a lunge, so bring your right leg and swing it forward. This is also one that I like to use the blanket for underneath the back knee. Make sure that your front knee comes forward far enough that your knee is right over the ankle. So we don't want to be in something like this with the heel lifted. So you get there, just grab it, bring it forward. And try and bring your back knee a little bit behind the hip as well. Once you get there, climb up onto the thigh. And we're just going to move with the breath and open through this hip flexor and this quad muscle a little bit. So as you inhale, back out of the pose a bit. As you exhale at the hips, come forward. Inhale to come up. Exhale to sink into it. One more time, inhale up. And exhale forward. And then pause there at your deepest point. Bring the hands to the hips and just feel where the hips are in space. We're gonna do some slight adjustments to bring the pelvis into the best position. So you probably feel your right hip is just a little bit forward of your left hip. The hips may be kind of going in a diagonal like that. So you can even use your hands to help with this. Just tug the right hip back and the left hip forward just a little bit. We're not going for a twist here, but just squaring more toward the front. And now bring one hand 
hand to your low belly, one hand to your low back. What we're gonna do is try to tip the pelvis just back to neutral. So think about lifting the belly up and dropping the tailbone down toward the back of your knee. And then see if you can hold all of that and then reach the arms up to the sky. The arms are extra, the arms are optional. Take a couple more breaths wherever you're at. Breathing down into that stretch of the hips. And then release the hands down. And swap out the legs. Bring your left leg forward and make sure it comes forward far enough your knees right over the ankle. Back knee behind the hip if that's available to you. And climb your hands up on top of that thigh. Find your balance here sometimes be a little wobbly in this position. Find your balance, find your breath, and then we'll move with the breath three times. Inhaling to come up a bit, exhale to sink down into it. Twice more like that, inhale up, exhale down. And then one more time, inhale, come up, exhale, sinking down. Pause there at your deepest point. And bring the hands to the hips and just feel how that left hip is a little bit forward of the right. And try and square the hips by drawing your left hip backward and the right hip forward just a tiny bit. And then bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the low back. And finding that pelvic tilt, so we're trying to drop the tailbone a little bit down toward the back of the knee and lift that belly up away from the thigh. It's a subtle movement, but it engages all of these muscles, puts the pelvis in the right position. You can get that there's a lot more sensation in this pose. Keep all that engagement through the pelvis, reach the arms to the sky. Try to straighten the arms if you can, but drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Couple deep breaths here. And release the hands down to the mat. And from here, we're gonna step up to a forward fold. So tuck your back toes, lift that back thigh, and step up, take a few steps if you need, and come to your forward fold. Don't have to have straight legs, you can have a big bend in the knees, and just let the head dangle. If your hands don't reach the floor, that's fine. Just bend the knees and let them relax. From here, take a half lift, bring fingertips to your shins and lengthen out through the spine. So press the hands into the shins and reach the crown of the head forward, reach the collarbones forward. And then exhale, fold again. We're gonna come to that half lift again, start with the hands to the shins, lengthen out, reach the crown of the head forward. And then just reach your fingertips behind you. If you're trying to touch the wall behind you, in a little bend to the knees, Sweep the arms up, stay landing tall, straighten the legs, or the Hastasana. And bring the hands down to the heart. Good. I'm just going to turn this way. It doesn't matter which direction we're facing for this. So find your mountain pose, feet hip distance, or big toes together. Lengthening out through the spine. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. And release the fingers, extend your index finger, and side stretch over to the right. And similar to what we did seated, see if you can press a little more strongly into your left foot to so really lengthen that left side of the body. And then inhale back up through center and over to the left side. Maybe pressing a bit more through that right foot, lengthening the right side of the body. And then inhale back up through center. Cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades together and lift up through the heart. And then inhale, reach 
each arm and bring the hands down to heart center. We're going to do a couple of half salutations, moving with the breath, starting here from our mountain pose. Find your breath. And then inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, cactus the arms, bend the elbows, draw the shoulder blades together, open through the heart. Inhale, reach high again. Exhale, swan dive down, hinge from the hips and lead forward with the heart. Drop the hands down toward the floor. Inhale, half lift, press the shins away, reach the crown of the head forward, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse the swan dive, sweep up, rise up, stand tall. And exhale, just bring hands to your heart. Do two more like that. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, dive down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, sweep out, rise up. Exhale, hands return to heart center. Once more like that, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, cactus, bend the arms, open the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, diving down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, and reverse the swan dive, sweep out, rise up, inhale the whole way up. Exhale, hands down to your heart. Good. We're going to start like that again and add on a lunge and a couple of other poses, a modified sun citation. I'm going to bring my blanket back in the middle of the mat so that it's there for my knee when I need it. Coming up to the short end of the mat. Mountain pose, feet hip distance or big toes together. The thing we want to avoid is the feet going out to the sides like this. So make sure the feet are parallel straight ahead. Root down through the feet, rise up through the crown of the head, finding the breath. And then inhale, sweep the knees to the sky. And exhale, dive down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees and step the right leg way, way back into that lunge. Remember, front knee over front ankle. Drop the back knee down. Squaring the hips. And then inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Take one breath here. And release the hands down. And step back up to that forward fold, tuck the toes, lift that back leg and step it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, step back with the left leg, way, way back. And then drop the back knee down, bring the knee behind that back hip. And then inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Take a full round of breath here. And then release the hands down. From here, we're going to bring this front leg back to meet the back leg. Plank on your knees, or you can go for full plank and chaturanga if that's part of your practice. Hands spread wide, knees behind hips. And then elbows stay in towards your ribs as we lower down. Try to keep the elbows lifted. We don't want to drop the elbows down like that. Keep the elbows lifted. Bring the shoulders in front of the elbows and lower all the way down. I'm going to tug this blanket out from under me and then come to Sphinx Pose. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Now the forearms are down on the mat. And you're propped up like the Sphinx statue. Pick up one leg and just reach it long behind you and bring the top of the foot down to the mat. The other one leg is longer than the other now. So even it out. Reach the other one long and bring the top of the foot down. Bring the tops of the feet down to that mat. Press them down. And then without actually moving where you are, just pull on the elbows like you're trying to drag yourself across the floor. And just stays at neutral. We won't crank it back or drop it too far down, just right at the center. And then from 
here, go ahead and release down, shift the hands in line with the chest, press yourself back up to hands and knees, and then tuck the toes, lift the hips, lift the knees, downward facing dog. We're going for that inverted V shape, hips are high, heart reaching for the toes, hands pressing away from you, hands spread wide, wide, wide. And then take a deep inhale here and open mouth, exhale. One more like that, deep inhale, exhale, let it go. And then bend your knees and look forward. Make your way up to the top of the mat for a forward fold. You can just curl up there or take a big hop. And then inhale, half lift, press the shins away, reach in and crown the head forward, and exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift again. This time, send the fingertips behind you, reaching long. Bring a little bend into the knees and then sweep high. Straighten the legs and hands down to the heart. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit of standing balance. One-legged mountain, I'll turn this way for a moment. Standing on the right leg, really spreading down through the toes, rooting the foot down into the floor. Use your core as well here. Draw the belly in and up and start to lift up through one leg. Just bring hands to heart center, relax the shoulders down. If this isn't accessible to you, you could bring one hand to a wall or you could bring your toes up onto something, maybe onto a staircase and just start to bring a little less weight into that lifted leg. And then release, shake the standing leg. And trying it on the second side, rooting down through that left foot, spread the toes wide, but try not to grip too much with the toes. Find your core, belly drawing in and up. The more you use your core, the less your hip flexor has to crunch to do this. So draw that core in, lift the leg, hands to the heart or wherever the hands need to be. Lifting up tall. Full, steady breaths, finding a point of focus that isn't moving. And let your gaze rest there for a couple breaths. And then release. Shake out the legs, shake out the arms, let go of that tension. And then we're going to come back toward the top of the mat if you're not already there. Moving through one slow sun salutation without the lunge this time. So standing in your mountain pose, root down through the feet, rise up through the crown of the head, find your breath. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, swan leg down, hinging from the hips. Feel free to bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. So bend your knees, plant the hands, and walk it all the way back to your downward facing dog. Hips go high, pressing the floor away. The downward facing dog isn't really part of your practice. You could come down to your knees and do a puppy dog pose instead. I get the same stretch through the spine. And then from your downward dog, come forward to plank pose, body in one straight line. Hands are right under shoulders. You're up on the toes, looking slightly forward. Draw that core in, note this is core work as well. And then either lowering down through chaturanga, if you know that, or dropping the knees down. Keep elbows in toward the ribs, shoulders forward of the elbows, and then roll all the way down. This time, keep the hands in line with the chest. Reach the legs back, bring the tops of the feet down to the mat. And three times, let's lift up for cobra pose. Inhale, peeling up for cobra. And exhale, rolling back down. So with cobra, we're not really pressing with the hands. Just a little pull of the hands like you're dragging yourself forward. And exhale down. One more time, keep the tops of the feet pressing to the mat, legs engaged. And inhale, peeling up just the top third of the body. Notice the hips stay down on the mat for cobra pose. 
And exhale, lower back down. Press up to hands and knees. Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog or modify with puppy dog pose if you need to. And three, open mouth exhales here. Breathe in deep through the nose. Exhale, let it go. It even makes this a lion's breath if you like. Breathe in deep and stick out the tongue. One more, inhale deep. Exhale, let it all go. And then bend your knees, look forward. And step or hop up to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And reverse the swan dive, sweep out, rise up, stand tall. And hands down to heart center. Good. I'm going to do a little more standing balance, tree pose. I'm just going to turn this direction again so I'm facing you. Standing on your right foot, spread the toe root down through the big toe mound, the pinky toe mound, and the heel. So we've got a strong triangle there. Start to turn your left knee out to the side. This can be it. We'll just put the toes down on the mat and just work on bringing a little less weight into those toes over time. Or you lift the foot up to the calf. Or you can grab the foot and bring it above the knee and press into the inner thigh. Just not putting the foot right on that knee joint. Squeeze the thigh and press it back into the foot. Even if the foot isn't on the thigh, still squeeze that thigh and press it in toward the midline. Try and bring the hands to heart center. Find a spot that isn't moving. Keep your breath smooth and steady. If you'd like to grow your branches, reach the arms to the sky. And soften the shoulders away from the ears. back down to heart center as you release the leg and you bring the knee forward into that one-legged mountain and then drop it down shake out your standing leg roll up the shoulders and then moving on to that second side root down through the left foot spread the toes feel the big toe mound pinky toe mound the heel rooting equally between those three points and then find the external rotation of the right leg. Turn that right knee out to the side. It might be down there for this side. It might be up on the calf. Or maybe you bring the foot all the way up to the thigh. Wherever your right foot is, squeeze that left thigh. Hands to the heart. Find your single point of focus. Maybe you grow your branches, reaching the arms up. Keep the shoulders soft and relaxed. And release the hands. As you release the leg, can you bring the knee forward into that one-legged mountain? Hold it for a moment, and then drop it down. Shake out the standing leg. All right, come back toward the top of the mat. Using a partial sun salutation to come down to the floor. We'll be on the floor the rest of the time. So we're down through those feet. Lift up through the crown of the head. Inhale, squeeze the arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward, hinging down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, plant the hands, walk the feet back into your downward dog. Hips go high. And take a deep breath here, really reaching the heart back toward the toes so you get long through the spine. And then from here, drop the knees, child's pose, knees are wide, toes together. Sink back on your heels and rest your forehead. And inhale, start 
to lift yourself back up. Swing the legs around to your seat. Extend the legs out. Keep your right leg out and draw the left foot in toward the inner thigh. It's the same shape as that tree pose, but now we're seated. Walk the sit bones back. Flex your right foot just like you were standing on it. Lift up tall and then start to hinge forward. Trying to keep the spine tall and lifted for as long as we can. If you can reach the foot, that's great. But what I don't want you to do is round and strain to get there. So keep the heart lifted. Think about the heart going forward. And then if the foot's there, then it's just there. And take a couple breaths here. So you might be way up here. You might be way down here. Full range for where our bodies can be. And it might be different today than it was yesterday, than it was last week, than it'll be tomorrow. So be present with where you're at right now in this moment. And then inhale, lift back up. We're gonna take this left knee, turn it up, planting the foot. A couple ways to do this, you can leave the foot on the inside of the leg or cross it over to the outside of the knee. I'm gonna try to stamp that foot all the way down to the floor if you can. And then lift up top. Twisting toward this bent knee, bring your right hand around the leg, left fingertips behind you, lifting tall, and then twisting. You can just wrap the arm or you can hook the elbow to get a little deeper into it. And then inhale, return to center. Switch over to the other side, extend your left leg out. We're going to draw the right foot in to that tree shape, walk the sit bones back, flex your left foot, inhale, lengthen tall, and then hinging forward, leading to the heart. And remember, if you reach the foot, that's great. If you don't reach the foot, that's also great. The goal is to lengthen the spine and breathe into the stretch through the leg. And then inhale, lift up. We're going to turn this right knee up and either stamping the foot on the inside of the knee or crossing it over to the outside. So we're going to try to get that foot all the way down to the floor. If you can cross it over, but you're kind of on the outer edge of the foot, then just keep it on the inside. That'll be a better stretch for you. So lengthening off tall and turning toward that bent knee, wrapping the left arm around, right fingertips to the floor, pressing into those fingertips, reaching up through the crown of the head and turning here, maybe hooking your left elbow to take it a little deeper. And then inhale back through center, release the legs. We're gonna come all the way down onto your back. Bending your legs for a bridge pose. So you want to bring the backs of the heels close enough you can touch the very backs of them. You don't need to grab the front of the shin, that's a little too deep. Just the very backs of the heels. Feet are hip distance. Just let the hands rest down by your sides. And then start to tuck the tailbone down towards your heels. Lift the tailbone, lift the lower back, the middle back. Coming up onto the shoulder blades. Notice that the knees splay out to the side. Try and keep them right in line with the hips. You can either press into those hands and those upper arms or interlace the hands under your back. Tuck the shoulders under a little more. Reaching the knuckles down toward the heels. Breathing here. And release the hands, roll the spine slowly back down toward the mat. Try and keep that tailbone tucking until the very last second. That lengthens the low back, so you keep as much length of that spine as you can. Bring the arms out to cactus or out to a T. Let both knees drop over to the right side. 
Maybe looking to the left to take the twist all the way through the neck. And bring your head to center. Draw the legs back. And let both knees drop over to the left side, turning your head to the right. Head back to center, draw the legs together, and then hug your knees into your chest. You can just stay right here and give yourself that nice hug or come into full happy baby. We did half happy baby at the beginning. Now with both legs separating the knees wide, soles of the feet up to the sky. Reach for the outsides of the feet. If that's not available, backs of the knees works great too. And drawing down on the feet, pressing the feet up toward the sky at the same time you're pulling down with the hands. If your tailbone really lifts up like that, drop the tailbone back down or reach it in that general direction at least. If it feels good, you can roll side to side. Stretch out one leg at a time. Flop over to one side. And then when you're ready, bring the soles of the feet together, knees together, and dropping the feet down. It is time for Shavasana, final relaxation. A couple ways you can do Shavasana. You can stretch the legs out long, and rest the arms down alongside your body. If that's not comfortable on your spine, you can bring a pillow or blanket underneath your knees or just bend your knees and rest them together like we did at the beginning. If none of that is comfortable for you, come into one side and find a fetal pose. The goal is to find a position that you can relax into completely. No effort, no sense of holding through the muscles. Release control of your breath. Just let it come back to its natural rhythm. And like we did at the beginning, just check in, feeling the body, feeling the pace of the breath, feeling the state of the mind, and just being present in the here and now with your own body, your own being. Draw in a deeper breath. Start to find some movement through fingers and toes. And slowly start to bend your legs. If you're not already in fetal pose, just roll over onto one side. Either side will do. Resting in your fetal pose. Try and keep some softness in the head and neck as you press yourself back up to your comfortable seat. And bring hands together at heart center once you arrive in your seat. Delight in me honors and respects that same light that glows in each and every 